After multiple people were shot at a Center City Airbnb party over the summer, neighbors are demanding action, and city council members want more regulation of short term rentals. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe was in Center City with what Airbnb and the city are doing now. Howard? UK, this is 13th Street between Pine and Lumbar, typically a very busy part of the city. However, it came to a standstill when someone opened a fire, firing dozens of shots into a crowd behind me. We had 61 bullets, I think was the final number here. Nuts. Nuts. Calm interrupted on a hot summer evening. The shooting Peter Jolly is referring to happened in the overnight hours of August 9th. Three people were injured after being shot while standing outside of a party of an Airbnb. Several homes and cars were also hit. This is the neighborhood. Um, and so to have it at our doorsteps was devastating. Karina Sotnik lives a few doors down from where the shooting and party took place. She says the property was a nuisance from the very beginning. I think it's really important that we as a community decide what we want to do with our blocks. Following the shooting, several neighbors advocated for the rental to be shut down, and it appears as though they were successful. Councilman Mark Squilla wrote a letter to Airbnb requesting that they take the property off the site, and it wasn't listed on the site as of Tuesday morning. All we're asking you to be is a good neighbor and a good landlord. Earlier this year, the Philadelphia City Council passed legislation requiring short term rentals be licensed. The councilman is now in the process of drafting the regulations to be enforced by the Department of Licenses and Inspections. Airbnb is also not allowing single night rentals for the upcoming Halloween holiday. Also, as of August 20th, the site banned all parties at its listings globally. Listen, there's a lot of business opportunities out there. If you do it right and you follow all the regulations, there's no problems. For Jolly, who says he successfully fought other nuisance short term rentals, those regulations can't come soon enough. I, mean, I got mugged three, four, five times, and that's all gone. Mm -hmm. But I don't, you know, I'm now older, and I no longer feel safe again. Now, it's important to note that these new regulations will apply to all private short term rentals, not just Airbnb. And the council member says that he would like to have these new regulations in place by the end of the year. We did reach out to Airbnb about this particular rental. However, we haven't yet heard back. Live in Center City, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Howard, thank you.